Hi everyone, this is Mike89. Welcome to the second video in my Sonic 3 and Knuckles tutorial series. Uh, this video is going to cover Hydrocity, or Hydrocity, or however it is you say it. Uh, let's get underway. So firstly we hold right as the stage starts, and then just tap left to move off the wall slightly to land straight on the, straight on the switch there. Uh, be very careful as you fall down here. Uh, if you even slightly get into that line, uh, what will happen is you'll bounce off the 10 ring box and it'll cost you quite a few seconds. So we don't want that. So make sure you're a little bit out to the right, but also make sure that you're, you have no momentum left or right so that you can immediately spin dash when you hit the ground. Uh, next thing here, the spin dash is a little tricky. You want to time it so that you start, you start doing it just as that piranha enemy uh, swims into you and hits you. Then it's a two tap spin dash out to the right here and it should work out that you about here and just as you're leaving this fan turns on and puts you into the floating sprite there. Um, then you also want to land on that second set of sprites, slow yourself down a little bit, slow yourself down a lot once you get to about here so that you'll hit the side of that enemy and not the top of it. Uh, this is another spin dash off a set of spikes mash the buttons through there. Um, as we come up to the section here we want to stop as soon as we get past, it's about here, there's uh, what's called a path switcher and what that means is you're obviously coming here along the top path and once you get past this point this stops being solid and you go down this path instead. Of course, the problem is if you stop too early, then you'll just go straight up the initial slope. But we've slowed down at the right point here. So face left, spin dash, and that saves you going around that loop and up the spring and through the loop again. Uh, now I slowed myself down through that section. Uh, I used the three rings on the water as an indicator as to when to slow down. All you do is tap left. You don't have to you don't have to hold it or anything. In fact, if you don't, it's not going to work out well for you. So just tap left and then switch back to right once you um, get to the ramp. And what that'll do is it means that you can clearly see where you're about to land. And that is on this platform here. Now there are two platforms before the loop coming up. The other platform is moving up and it's about here. Um, obviously we can't reach it and waiting for this platform to move down and then back up is going to take too long. So what we're going to do, we're going to stop on the left side of the platform like this, three tap spin dash and then very quickly jump like that. And that just will let you get across. Now next bit, there are two boxes here. Uh, if you do your spin dash from right up against the box from right here, what it will do as you go for the spin dash You'll, uh, you'll be forced into a run and you'll actually run into the side of this box so you'll have to do two spin dashes. So that's why I stop back here, charge my spin dash here, I can go straight through, like so. Jump into the shield there. Um, as we go through here, hold down and then just as you get to the ramp here, switch to right. But you don't want to touch it any earlier or you'll stop dead on this ramp and have to go all the way down. Ah, uh, now the boss. Oh, the boss. Okay. So what we're going to try and do for this boss, we're going to try and charge a spin dash and then leave the screen about here just as the boss music starts. And then if we imagine, so if we imagine the boss here, it's hard to visualize because it's off screen. But basically what we're going to do, we're going to come up from the left hand, hand side like this. As soon as you go off the top of the screen, you should start holding right. So we're now moving this way. And we're going to bounce on him and it's going to bounce us away like this. And we continue to hold right, get a second hit. Uh, now as you can see, if we continue to hold right, especially since the boss is moving downwards as well, if we continue to hold right, we're going to fly out here. Uh, we don't want that. So instead, I'll draw it again. After the second hit, 
we're going to bounce up like this and then quickly let go of right and press it again. And that means that we bounce in a more favorable spot. Then we bounce back again. And this time we're going to do that twice. So let go, press right, let go, press right. And bounce back about here. Um, if you can get four hits here, you're doing well. So don't don't worry if you don't get any more. But you can try and do the same thing again. So bounce back a little bit. Um, tap once, tap twice, and then try and get a fifth hit as well. If you don't, it doesn't matter. So go up here, and we get one, two, three. You can see. The only way to really tell whether you're getting hits or not is, well, you hear the sound, but also the, um, the he heads-up display starts flashing. So pay attention to that. So there's four. And now you can see a fifth one there, and I also got hit. And you see I've fallen down to the left-hand side. Uh, if you fall down to the left, the best thing to do is hold left to slow yourself down like this and just as it appears in your um, in your view jump and insta shield and get the last hit if you have less hits than that uh, it can be a bit trickier to, to do the fight on the ground but if you get at least four you can do it that way um, it's also very important that as the as you get ready for the bonus count up that you're facing right because as you come down through here you're going to get put down into a position where you can immediately spin dash uh, then that that jump there I'll just show you wh while the ramps here uh, you will actually want to jump from fairly late on the ramp so about here as opposed to where you might think it would be which would be about here if you jump there then you'll clear the corner and it um, that actually saves you a whole second because you'll hit this checkpoint at seven seconds instead of eight. Um, so what we're now going to do is we're going to kill ourselves because you can you can get stuck in the ground at the moment, but you can't do the level wrap. It just doesn't work. You get stuck on the left side of the screen. Uh, so we're going to charge a spin dash here, which actually causes us to get killed off a little bit quicker. Now, here's the fun bit. Okay, so as soon as you respawn, one tap spin dash, small jump. So down, A, let go of down, and then quickly tap A again. And there are two different things that can happen here. Uh, sometimes you'll roll straight down the, the ramp nicely like that, and then sometimes you'll just kind of bounce away and roll back slowly. I find that to be slightly more consistent, but either way will work. So we're going to roll. So we're going to roll down this slope here, and as Sonic goes across this white tile here, as you see Sonic's whole sprite on that white tile, do another two quick taps of A. It's important that you use the same button for this, because otherwise, if you kind of roll the two buttons together, the game can think that that's one input, and we absolutely have to uh, trigger the insta shield here. So I'll show you frame by frame. So we jump from right there, and then you can see the insta shield come out a few frames later. And what we're aiming for with the jump height, we want to just ever so slightly touch one of these rings here. That's about where we want to be. I think in this video it's just short of that, but either of those will work. So we continue to show it really slowly. Uh, as this is going on, you should also be holding right. From the moment you jumped from that white tile, you should be holding right. And you can see that I'm just barely missing this ring here. I don't actually quite pick it up in, in this video. And eventually, I get pushed into the ground, like that. Uh, that's, that's what you want to happen. You get pushed into the ground. Sometimes you'll die. Uh, that's obviously not what you want, but you can just try it again from there. Sometimes you'll also get just pushed onto the, 
ground normally and then you'll have to wait for the wall to push you and kill you and try it again. Anyway, so as soon as you see this, uh, so we're going to keep holding right until we see the the screen is now moving to the right. This is what's called a level wrap. So we moved so fast off the left side of the screen that the game thinks we're way, way, way out to the right. Well and truly past where the boss is. And this is where things get a little bit interesting. So, uh, the moment you see the screen start to shift downwards, switch to holding left, and you should hear a little skid like that. Now, if I advance a couple of frames, this is roughly where you are at the moment. You're in a kind of alternate version of this section of the level. So at the moment, you're standing about here, at the base of one of these massive ramps. Now, conveniently, because you're underwater, you, c you get an amazing jump off a ramp. So what we're going to do is we're going to charge a spin dash facing, facing left, And we're going to wait for something to appear. So charge a spin dash now. And as soon as you see that ramp appear, now we release the spin dash and that sends us up like that. Um, and then a little bit after that, you also jump. You jump and you hold that jump until about there. So if you can see the tube, this tube here, um, then you're doing well. So hang on to your jump, and then you should land nicely there in the boss room. Now, watch where we line up. Okay, so on this dark green tile here, you want Sonic to be kind of standing on the right half of it. And Robotnik's going to move into range in a second. And the way that we'll tell when to jump is just now when you can just see Robotnik actually start to appear on the screen. Now we'll jump, I uh, get three, four, five hits, and then the sixth one, you can see right now that I'm actually standing on the very edge of the whirlpool here. Uh, now believe it or not, you wouldn't think so based on the relative size of that and the propellers which can come all the way out to here. But the Whirlpool is actually the one of those two with the larger hitbox. So you can stand on the outside of it and be completely safe. And that was six hits so we only need two more. And that is how you speedrun Hydrosity. Just go quickly back to the start and replay the whole thing without any interruptions for you.